can give you about six quick steps that we're going to get ready to go over and we'll close that could radically put the miracle in process. Number one, you have to be one of God's elect. You got to be chosen. And when I say God's elect, because there has to be a time that you said, I'm a sinner. God, forgive me of my sins. I believe Jesus died for my sins, and would you come into my heart? Ha, I just became chosen. Uh, so number one, you got to make sure that you're saved and you're going to heaven. And if you're here today and you've never done that, the number one thing you have to do is say, hey, you have to be one of the elect. you got to be chosen. Number two, you have to ask. Uh, in James, it says you have not because you ask not. I believe there's many prayers, many miracles, many things just because we didn't ask. Uh, so you have to be chosen. You have to be one of the elect. You have to ask and keep asking. Third, you have to believe. Hebrews tells us that God likes it. He's a rewarder of those who believe. You have to be the elect, chosen. You have to ask and you have to believe. Fourth, you have to forgive. I do not care what happened to you. I don't care what they did to you. Don't let what they did to you destroy you. Let God repay them. Some of you now, right now, are saying, well, if he only knew. I don't know, but God does know. God said, he said, I will avenge you. So today, you forgive them. And you decide to move on. I cannot tell you how many times in my life I've seen God do this over and over and over. you got to be one of the elect. If you're here today and you're not sure that you're safe, you're not sure that you're going to heaven with a crazy world like it's going on today, man, I would be the first one. I'd take that next step card. When I pray, I'd check it. I think I'd bring it and put it on the altar. I would ask God to do this miracle or whatever it is in your life. I'd believe that he's going to do it. I'd, I'd forgive. Fifth. I'd stop being ashamed of God. I'd say, well, I'm not ashamed. Then I'd confess him before men. You don't have to say anymore, well, I don't know what I'm talking about. We're giving you an opportunity to invite five people every Sunday. We're going to give you the cards. Why would you not do that? Same reason I didn't do it. I was worried about rejection. I was worried about getting embarrassed. That's why. The Bible says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. That's where the power of God comes from. We're helping you, not hurting you. Invite five people. Be a part of it. If you want to, mark on the next step card. Put me in the WhatsApp, and you'll start seeing all these people inviting people. It's, it's going to be exciting. But the best thing about it, you know what? <laughs> when I say, talk to Jesus, he's going to confess me before his father. And man, there's nothing that can happen to me that the Father can't take care of. See, I think we have limited the power of God to answer our prayers because we've denied God before men. Six and last, expect it to happen. Man, expect it. Come with anticipation and expectation every morning. If He doesn't do it today, expect Him to do it tonight. Or do it in the morning. Uh, so you become one of the elect. You ask, you believe, you forgive, uh, you don't deny, and you expect.